the re- I'm going to derail the show if it's all right for, for a couple of minutes. Yeah. Um, because I haven't told you this, but I've been plotting every single moment in Jace's life that he's claimed up to the last three weeks or so, really. Okay. Truth. Just yeah. to try and, because it's quite an interesting life that you've led. Yes, it is. And some people That's might why even... I'm such a great radio DJ, Chris, because I've had so much life. And the same with you, eh, Mike? I mean, because you've had so much life experience. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's what makes you a great radio DJ. That's right. I mean, I, I wanted to wait. As long as I could before I radio DJ'd. Yeah, oh. I mean, so I was some yarns. I was offered uh, the top job in radio when I was what twi- is that? when I breakfast was twenty. Breakfast on Hodaki. Yeah, breakfast on Hodaki, and I said, no, no, I haven't lived enough of my life yet to be a great radio good DJ. On you, I mean, man. I know the potential's there, but let me live my life a little bit more. Right. So that was when you were twenty. I feel like I have to add this to the list as well. Sure. Because um, you're forty, right? Yes, I am, Chris. And you're born in September of 1981. Yes. Oh, this is like this is your life. It is. Are you going to have, like, friends coming oh. through the door? Do you remember this voice, Jace? COVID. Well, instead of that, I want to make sure that this stuff did actually happen. Of so course be- it happened, Chris. I don't just make crap up. You're right. Before I add it to your Wikipedia page. Sure. We- okay, so born in 81. Yeah. 1988, at age seven, you took on the persona of an old woman named Edna while playing with a Ouija board. Yeah. Crazy times. That's So that happened? Yeah, of course it happened. All right. A year later, you invented eating carrots. Well, I didn't invent eating carrots. I was the first person to ever eat a carrot. Okay. No one up to that point had... You know about that, Only don't you, horses. Mike? Only horses. Only it was horses. considered horse feed. It was. Right. Yeah. And interesting enough, you were saying, which I never knew, Mike, because your uncle uh, invented the vegetable peeler. The peeler. Yeah, yeah around the thing, that same people time. People were like, how do I get to the deliciousness inside? Yeah. Because it's covered in filth. And, uh, yeah, so uncle invented the peeler. Yeah. Right, okay. What was his name again? Oh, I just used to call him Unk. Oh, yeah, Big Unk. Okay, good. Um, that same year you invented eating carrots, you also captained the first 11 cricket team at your school. Yes, I did. At yeah. age eight. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> age 11, you went to India. Yeah, for a little while. Yeah, tour of tour. India. No, it was just a tour. Yeah, yeah, it was a tour of yeah, India. The, yeah, yeah, the first cricket. 11. And you, you scored 350, a, didn't you? You scored a triple century. Yeah. Yes, I did, yeah. At age 11. Yes. Against okay. Mumbai, I think it was. <laughs> The weird Mum, thing Mumbai was... Prime, uh, Mumbai Senior School. Yes, carry on. The weird thing is, that same year, you entered Teachers College at age 11. Yeah, well, I was a bit ahead of my time, and um, <sighs> people could tell that I had abilities beyond my age, yeah. and so they said, look, right. you might as well start off now. Get get stuck into it. Well, then yeah. why... Don't wait for life, Jace. Get into it. Why, the year after that, did you quit and then start selling car radios out of your car boot? Oh, I hate kids, and I was never really into being uh, a teacher. But it would have been hard for you as well to be respected by children when you were a child yourself. Is yeah. that what you found then? Oh, yeah, a little we bit. We were 12. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But then it says here, you then won the cross country at your school at age 13, so you then went back to school. Oh, yeah, I felt like I'd been a bit premature going to training college, so yeah. I thought I'd get back and re um uh, What's the word? Not reimburse myself. Get back into school life. Yeah. yeah. Well, I get you're only selling the uh, car stereos out of your boot to make a bit of pocket money, right? Yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Um, and then, like, three, there's three years there where you're clearly back at school. Yeah. Age 16, Jenny Shipley's press secretary, 1997. Yeah. And, uh, well, you know, I always had the gift of the gab, um, Chris, and I, yeah. I had my eye on politics, and I thought, um, you know, Jen and I were pretty close. Right. And well, did, that's what the rumours said. Well, you know, Burton wasn't that happy about it, but... Uh, but yeah. that, and to be fair, Jace, you know, just because you were her press secretary doesn't mean you were any good at it. Because, no. of course, if you remember, Jenny only became Prime Minister through stabbing Boulder in the back. Yeah, totally. Uh, coup d'etat. And uh, she was not voted back in at the general election. Right. You know. So that was. So you sort of buggered that up, didn't you, Jason? Yeah, I did a but little bit. And you're, to be fair, you're only 16. Yeah, true. Is that why the next year at age 17 you became a wedding, ca- a marriage counsellor in Oamaru? Oh, no, I'd already been doing uh, marriage counselling and, and stuff for quite a long time then. Uh, but I went down to Oamaru for a, for a change of scene, I guess, after the whole Jenny thing. Right. Shipley thing. I uh, needed a bit of a change of scene a year later you were the mayor of twizel yeah that's where i met yeah that's where we bumped into yeah, each that's other right. isn't it? literally yeah. yeah yeah literally got tangled like how did you describe it two farm dogs no and knotted no, knotted <laughs> like two farm dogs with all our mayoral chains yeah there's like a sort of a, a gray area after that for five or so years but yeah. then you came back in 04 um you were a cage fighter under the name <laughs> the gypsy yeah yeah i was Still got a few knuckle issues going on there, actually, to be honest with Two you. Two years later, you slept with Russell Crowe. Well, 
wasn't a lot of sleeping going on, nah, was it, mate? No, not really. Right. Two um, years after he that. He was my hall pass. Okay. Yes. Two years after that, you dated Natalie Imbruglia after she divorced the silver chair guy? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, and then 2011, you joined Hodak. I did, yeah. So there you go, a bit of a brief summation of my life thus far. And as I was saying... It hasn't even touched... It hasn't even oh, touched. mate. That's not even a quarter yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, right. So much more. Because you're amazed at things. I am anyway. I'm amazed at things I forget. Yeah. Sometimes it's not until my mouth starts moving that I'm like, oh, that's, that's right. right. <laughs> yeah.